Hello everyone, it's Luke here from the Math Bros. I'm trying out a new intro, hopefully this is good. But anyways, welcome back to another episode of Universe Sandbox 2. So, hopefully everyone's having a good day, but today, this has been featured on YouTube many times, but I'm going to do it for myself because I really don't care. But anyways, we're going to be replacing the moon with the planets from our solar system. So, without further ado, let's go do this. So, as you can see, the moon is right here right now. So, if we want to quickly just remove the moon, I'm going to put Mercury right on top. So as you can see, Mercury is a little bigger in the a little bigger. But first of all, let's just quickly go on Earth and actually see how big the moon actually is in the sky. So let's land somewhere in Brazil here. Okay, there we go. Now if you look up in the sky, you can see that the moon is very, very small. And yeah, it's not really that impressive. But every time we're going to replace the moon, the object will get bigger. So now here's the interesting part. So let's put mercury right on top of the moon like that so it's perfectly in the center so there we go it's not entirely accurate but it will get the job done so actually the moon is inside mercury so we now just delete the moon and now look oh we've got a new moon it's a little larger so if we land back in brazil again and then look up in the night sky you may not notice at first but that is bigger so that that's pretty cool but now instead of uh, just waiting around let's just go straight into the next one so Mercury, now we'll replace that with Mars, so let's quickly plot Mars right in the middle like that, yeah that's pretty much in the middle, and then delete Mercury, so as we've got the red planet as our moon now, so that's going to look pretty cool, so let's go back to South America again, look up in the night sky, and that is definitely bigger than the moon, that's for sure, so, looking good. Now, here's the good stuff. Let's put it to Venus. Because remember, Venus is the same size, or almost the same size as Earth. As you can look here, they're about 300 kilometers different in size. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet and pretty cool. So now, there we go. So what if we had our sister planet as our moon? Or a binary planet, I guess it would be, because they've got similar mass and size. So, we land on the surface again. And if we look up... Wow, look how big that is. That's pretty cool. So that's the same size as Earth. We can also look from Venus's point of view. So let's quickly land on Venus as well. And also, if you didn't notice, anyone who's intelligent and played the game for a long time, you may notice the background's a little different. Well, this is a background from the older version of the game, which I've managed to keep, which is pretty cool. But anyways, enough of that. Let's land on Venus. So we'll blow the clouds now. We'll look up in the sky. And as you can see, we can see our good old beloved Earth right there. So that's that now. Let's move on to the next one. So, let's add Neptune in, because that's the next largest planet. So, let's plop it right there. And let's delete Venus. Oh, if this was only in real life, honestly, Neptune's my favourite planet. So, if this was ever in real life, this would be the most beautiful thing to literally see in the sky. Just look at that lovely blue, man. That blue is so nice. But as you can see, look how big Neptune is in the sky. So, if Neptune was our moon or we would be Neptune's moon in this case, it would be humongous in the sky. So let's land on the North Pole here. I think we're in the North Pole anyway. And if you can just see that, that <laughs> looks really nice. Look at that. Just look at the blue. I just love the colour of Neptune. And then we could do it with Uranus as well, but honestly Uranus is pretty much the same size as you can see here. It won't make a difference. So let's um, add Saturn in instead. And we'll add the rings as well. Um, so let's plop it right in the middle. That's pretty much accurate there. So let's delete Neptune and now let's add the rings in because you've got to add the rings. It's got, you've got to make it look good. So there we go. So a little more laggy, but the computer can handle it fine. So now if we go and land on Earth, let's land. Um, yes, yeah, go up to the North Pole again and land here. So let's land on the surface here. And if we turn around slowly, you can see that now that looks awesome just look at just look at the size of it in the sky that's mad let's go to canada actually get a little better view so let's go to canada land here and there you go so just look at the size of that in the night sky like imagine having that see instead of our boring old moon we could literally have this in the sky instead like it'd just be so cool like in the future if we ever find a like a moon around a planet which we could colonize and live on We'll probably have a sight like this in the night sky, which is like so epic. It'd be just so cool to see this. But sadly, in our lifetime, we'll probably never see it. So yeah, that kind of sucks. There's Earth over there. Yeah, good old Saturn is huge. <laughs> All right, so now let's remove um, poor old Saturn here. Oh, whoops, I wasn't going to do that. Anyway, let's add Jupiter in quickly. So Jupiter's right there. Wait, let's make it a little more accurate. Let's move in here. 
we just want to plop Jupiter right in the middle so there we go that's about right so there we are and voila yeah that, that's pretty much correct so let's delete delete them yep and here we go so this is what would happen if the largest planet in our solar system was our moon or if our moon was replaced by the largest planet however you want to say it and just look at the size of this bad boy like that looks really cool let's add the moons of jupiter as well just to make things look cooler can we see any of them there's io there yeah europa where's europa yeah is it visible i have no idea where europa is right now wait before we put labels on uh, it's on the other side of jupiter it looks like or well, callisto is anyway wait, where is europa I have no idea where Europa actually is. Um, Europa? Where is Europa? Wait. Oh, it's over here, okay. And Ganymede we won't be able to see either. So overall, pretty cool vid, pretty short. Hopefully um, you found something interesting. But anyways, let's ramp it up even more. What if we made... Hmm, what should we do? Okay, yeah, what if we have the largest planet ever discovered as our moon? So, I have one saved in the custom objects here. So it is called HD 10546b. Just look at the size of this planet. So this is the largest planet ever discovered, which is pretty sweet. So let's quickly um, add our moon in and replace this poor little moon with this humongous object right here. So let's get it. Oh, that's not the right one. Dang it. There we go. Just look at this thing. Like, can we even get it? Like, yeah, that's pretty much the middle there. So there we go. So the poor old moon is just gone, but as you can see, um, the whole night sky would be covered by this giant orange gas giant, <laughs> and you see our own shadow on it as well. So yeah, because like if we compare it to Jupiter as well, Ju poor little Jupiter is tiny compared to this thing. Look, this planet is humongous. Like if we compare it to the sun as well, it's not that much smaller, which is literally insane for something like this. Like, that is literally the distance from the moon. Like, the centre of this object is where the moon used to be, which is just crazy. Like, this object is enormous. So, I think as we end this video off, we are going to crash into the poor or into the planet, and we're going to just slowly see. So, this will probably never happen in real life, but at least you'll know what it will be like if it ever did. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. And that's a shorter video than usual, but you've got to have a shorter one every so often. But anyways, have a good day. Leave a like, subscribe, like I said. And, yeah, enjoy this collision. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So, that's it. Play. And, yes, this is the last you'll hear of me.